Good morning. So it is the last day of the October holiday, and I'm at Sichuan University right now taking care of a couple things. And I thought, you know, while I'm here, why not just give you a little tour of the university? Because it's a nice time to be out. It's a good day. It's beautiful, beautiful campus. So yeah, let's let's do it. Let me show you guys a little bit about Wangjiang campus, the main campus of Sichuan University, the one that's the most famous. Let's do it. This here is the first ring road. It is one of the main arteries for traffic uh, through the heart of Chengdu. It's a very important road and that is where Sichuan University is located, or I should say the Wangjiang campus. There are three campuses and I might give you a tour of uh, each one, but this is going to be the main one. This is where all the post-grad studies happen. So post-grads do teach at this university. I don't teach here, but I come up here for a frisbee and a few other reasons. So it's a really, really nice view. You'll see a lot of people taking photos in front here all the time, especially during the holidays, like what we just had. But like I said, everyone is leaving now. Um, oh, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now it's a little bit quieter and this is a better time for a video. So let me hop on the bike here and then, uh, Take you guys around. As you go into the campus, immediately you will see these lotus ponds right here. Oop, a bit bumpy. You'll see these lotus ponds flanking you on either side. They've actually just redone these sidewalks, so it's wood now, which looks all right, actually. I, uh, I kind of like it. There used to be a big flagpole right here, but they've gotten rid of that. And then you see the office building. So this is uh, basically just full of any sort of administration uh, that you can think of. That's really what this whole giant building is for right here. Now here, just to the right, we have the uh, the chemistry or chemical engineering department right there. That's where all of them study. And then on the other side is, ooh, I'm not actually sure. I think it's a uh, CG something. I don't know what that is. But I think it has to do with uh, computer science right there. That's their building. And uh, there are a couple of lawns right here. We used to play Frisbee right here, but they didn't like us after a little while. So, yeah, we play over by the gymnasium now. Let's, uh, let's keep it going. If you come up to this main building, I mean, you can see the architecture is really quite something. It is, it's really nice. It's a beautiful building. And if we come over to, oh yeah, we got some kind of visiting visiting group here. So I don't know if they're, uh, hey, yeah. So I think they're teachers from another another uni that are here. That happens quite a lot because Sichuan University is a really big deal. It's top 15 university in China. So um, you'll see a lot of people coming and going from other unis. So if you swing around this way, just to the left of this main building, you will see an ICBC, which is where a lot of students open their bank accounts. And um, I'll show you this one. You might have seen it in a uh, in one of my Frisbee videos in, in just a second. So there are dorms for some of the students right there, just inside the gate. And uh, let's head over down this way. Okay. So if you actually, if you take this road right here, this leads you straight to the gymnasium and where we play frisbee actually right here to the right you see that sort of newspaper maze you'll see that at a lot of uh, unis they got the newspapers put up for the older people to read and uh, I made a whole video about that a few months ago something like that uh, there's another postgrad building we'll talk about that in a second but let's let's rock up to this place over here. Let's let's get it going. I haven't filmed on a bicycle in a really long time. This is uh, it's a bit dangerous. <laughs> Don't try this at home. All right, here we go up the ramp. This guy's coming back from his vacation. Yeah, and then we got this giant square. I love this little area. Oh, so if you see this sign right here, this is the uh, foreign students' apartments. So this is where all the foreign students live, 
or well, some of them live, I suppose. And uh, the office where I get a lot of my paperwork done uh, for my visa and stuff like that is uh, is in there as well. So if we turn around, then we get a nice view. This is Building C. Now, in Building C, there are just there are four or well, let's see, one, two, three, four. There are eight big lecture halls. So these these lecture halls are for big classes of around. I don't know, I'd say there's probably 200 chairs in there. So they're quite big. Uh, I'm not sure what classes they're used for, but we can take a look at the schedule and see what that looks like. All right, so if we have Building C right here, we're in the middle of the square right here. One of the buildings is electrical engineering, and then this is, a, uh, I don't know, uh, electronic information. And then I, I think it's the same thing on that side as well. This is what we have. I know this this video may get a little bit disorienting. It, you may you may be a little disoriented because that's just the way this campus is. Like they, I, I generally have said in the past, I, I have said it word for word. I said if you've never been lost on Sichuan University's campus, you've never been on Sichuan University's campus because there are just so many little corners of the campus that are really easy to miss and to get turned around in. So if you go this way, uh, well, I'll show that in a, in a little bit. We're just gonna keep going straight back from right here. So we've come in from the north gate, the main gate. We are passing the uh, foreign students' apartments. And we're just gonna keep, keep going through here because then this is sort of the, the route that most people will take through campus. This is the most common way of going through campus. Now, up here, these buildings are just for, like, retired teachers and uh, the like to live here. And uh, they're, oh, they're all so old. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. If you come across those buildings, I would recommend just stay away from those because then you get into like little neighborhoods and it gets very, very confusing. So here, I believe it's another dorm. And uh, if you look that way, we have the east gate. And then this way is the south gate. I know the gates don't exactly match the cardinal directions, but we'll go down here first. And uh, check that out because I, I really like this road and um, we'll see what's going on over there. So this is the area we usually play Frisbee at. Well, there's a big black wall over there. What's going on with that? There must be some sort of event here. They're always having little events at uh, the gymnasium. So it's not really a gymnasium. They basically just use it for events. Like th there is a football or not football basketball court in there but they use it for pretty much anything except basketball so that's where we play frisbee and the south gate is just down this way so uh, let's flip around let's flip around a couple shops for uh students getting phones it's a bank right there uh more dorms and houses for people to live in and rent a little seating area right there and let's fast forward the video for a second. All right, let's take a look at the map here. And uh, you'll see where we are. And uh, obviously, we've got dorms here. We've got some dorms here. And speed up. Then we're getting into sports complexes. So we got volleyball, badminton, uh, basketball up on the left right here. If we take a right, there are a couple of uh, canteens, cafeterias for students to, uh, to eat at. There's a fruit shop just back there. There's a noodle restaurant right there. Okay. So here, let's flip around. Yeah, this is... Uh, it's getting a bit crazy, right? 
there's there's a lot there's a lot of stuff to take in. This is a huge campus. It's a huge campus for being right in the middle of a what is now tier one city. Oh, there's your ping pong right there. It's God, it's such a big campus. It's really overwhelming when you first when you get on campus for the first time. But you know, just keep looking at your maps. They do have maps posted around. Oh actually they have school buses now. They have buses that go around the campus in areas close to the campus for people to, to take because it's such a long walk uh, to get from one end of the campus to the other, which is another reason why you see all these shared bikes. And, um, and you'll see tuk-tuks as well. So if you just keep going this way, there are lots of neighborhoods. There's a bunch of neighborhoods in through here. I'd just say don't, don't worry about those for the moment. Because that's how you get lost. That's how you get lost. So here, actually, there is a uh, performance hall and recording hall because there is some kind of journalism and, uh, and media majors. Maybe there's journalism majors and media majors. But this is where they will um, do their thing. So it's like a performance hall or a recording hall where they actually record all the stuff that they film uh, and things like that. And then we've got a couple of, oh man, they're building. So we've got a uh, teaching building right here. And um, we've got a teaching building right here on this side. We've got another teaching building, which is apparently under renovation right here. There's those. Oh my God. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, tennis. Tennis, all right, if you're into that. Oh, man, yeah. Everything must go. Political economics. Just political economics. Right there. And actually, this was, until this semester, this was the foreign languages department. It was the foreign languages department where we would get all of our paperwork done. Um... Or not our paperwork. We'd have our meetings here and stuff like that. But uh, not anymore. Here we've got a football pitch. Kindergarten's right over there. So just so we're clear of where we are on the map. Let me show you where we've gone. <laughs> let me show you where we've gone. Retracing this route here. So this is interesting because you will see different um, different sports. Ugh. Ugh. Different sports are played here. So right now you see someone, there's a little kid playing with a, with an airplane here and uh, just running around. But I've seen uh, Indian students play cricket here. I've seen uh, Chinese students play Frisbee, like Ultimate Frisbee. I've seen football games. I've seen all kinds of stuff at this, uh, at this little pitch. So that's cool. And it, what, yeah, they've, they've moved our department um, into another onto the other campus so and then there's a there's another teaching building here more cafeterias down there and uh oh they've already changed this actually they've already changed it so uh national tenyuan shu shue i don't know what that means but shu shue is math um but yeah it's some kind of center for whatever guo jia tenyuan jiao shu shue is it's a southwest center so, I don't know. I'll have to put that translation up on the screen. Actually, now that I think about it, we need to head back there a little bit. And I'll show you another building. So, if we are looking at the pitch and going away from where our college used to be, you can see the rainbows for the kindergarten slash primary school right there. Nice little pagoda and seating area. I actually quite like it. They've they've just um, finished all this not long ago, which is great. Everything's new. It's part of why I wanted to film this today because we've just had National Day, and a lot of these uh, projects for renovation will finish. Like the the date is set for them to be finished by National Day because it's an important day. They want everything to be nice and neat. 
So here we are at another little corner here. As you can see, there's a shop and above there's a uh, place to get stuff printed. Over there are a bunch of books and that's on the second floor there. There's a tea shop right there that is closed at the moment. There's a guy here that sells uh, books and DVDs. Another print shop. Ooh, this place is closed down. Huh. And there, there are a few other things. There's someone who sells really bad banh mi here. Um, and on our left, I'm going through this little street because it's really important. If you are going to be a foreign student here, if you're going to be an international student, this is your building. This is where the foreign students hang out for their classes. There you go. So this is one part. The foreign uh, or overseas education department and they blocked up oh wait sorry it's over here the other entrance is right here so US China friendship volunteers it's actually Peace Corps although we don't have any Peace Corps here so uh, oh little kids looks like an art class that's nice all right so I'm gonna turn around well, actually no I'm not I'm gonna go this way no, I am going to turn around because we have to get to some other places on campus. So, just for reference, here's the route. Here's the route that we're taking. We are passing another canteen with a little side street there that's got um, it's got snacks and things like that, cheap fruit. Man, this road is really bumpy. I apologize for the for the bumpiness of this. My camera's got good um, stabilization but it stabilizes in a weird way um, anyway so we're gonna make a circle back I'll show you the map in just a second I like this area because you got football pitches things like this and it's also a sort of student village there are shops to buy glasses there's a uh, makeup places there's fruit shops drinks places um, places you can buy clothes fruits um, just a lot of little, little things. Flowers. Oh, printing. Here's a stationery store as well. Uh, there's a place to play pool. That red sign right there, Taicho, means pool. Oh, did you see that? That was Little North Gate. Little North Gate, because it's so little. You can miss it. I, I literally just barely missed it, uh, because it's so small. And outside there, just pretty much behind this little cafe and this building... There's a street that's full of food and services for students. What I like about this campus being so close, or being, you know, in, in the place that it's in, is that it's really integrated into local life. It's so easy for students to go in and out of campus um, and just have access to all the stuff that everyone else in Chengdu has. Whereas on the campus that I teach at, they are just totally cut off from pretty much everything. It's so isolated. So now we're making a circle. Let's check the map. Let's check the map. Yeah, so we have traced this route right here. We're coming back around towards the north gate. Yes, so more tennis courts here. A little shop for printing, computer repair and more. Let's speed up the video and get back to where you know you know where you are. All right. You guys know where you are? I think you do. Big admin building, right? Big admin building. The main gate is right there. The North Gate on the First Ring Road. There are all those lovely familiar faces from earlier. So now that we've got our bearings, we are going to flip around and show you the last, the last building. Oh. Alright, now here's the last building I'm going to show you. It's one of the key buildings here on campus because the, uh, 
Ugh, sidewalk. Because foreign teachers will teach here. Oh, sorry. Now remember that big square, Building C? This is directly across the street from it. So if we go along this sidewalk, coming along the sidewalk, and then it opens up a little bit into a couple of things. So one, you've got a training center for people who are going to go abroad. So people who, I think they do IELTS tests here. Or no, they don't. They do some sort of international English tests here. I don't think it's IELTS. Maybe it's TOEFL. Um, and, oh, they might do the IELTS writing here. And then here, just general, is the general post-grad building. So, at least to my knowledge, this is where all of the foreign teachers who are at this campus, this is where they are. So they're teaching here on uh, various floors. So there we go. So let's flip around. And then I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe this is another one of those big lecture rooms. Uh, yeah, I think it is. And then same with this one. Big lecture hall. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you might recognize this from the Frisbee videos because we throw, one of our holes is to throw into that ring right there. And that's really about it. So you can see why I have a bike, right? I missed several buildings. I didn't show you the uh, the library. I didn't show you the, um, the library's actually just over there. Uh, I didn't show you the um, humanities building. I didn't show you a bunch of stuff. And it's already gonna be long enough of a video. So you definitely, definitely need a bike here or get the shared bike programs like MoBike and the like. Um, and just take some time to get to know the place. Don't If you're going to be a student here or a teacher here, don't show up the day before and expect to know how to get around. Show up like three or four days before, wander around, get lost, figure out where everything is. Then you'll be ready for classes and uh, everything will be fine. There are more buildings that we could talk about. Uh, and more landmarks we could talk about, but I feel like this is a this is a basic tour of Sichuan University Wangjiang campus. I feel okay about this. We're gonna end the tour at what we call the walk. This used to be a uh, a frisbee hole too. Like you had to hit the walk with a frisbee. It's not a walk. I know it's a it's called a ding in Chinese, but yeah, we always just called it the walk. So there you go. So this is by. Oh, I actually don't know what that says. Hmm. And this concludes my tour of Sichuan University, Wangjiang campus. I hope you enjoyed it. Say goodbye to the walk and say goodbye to me because that is the end of the video. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all next time.